Hi there, it's Matthew Gibbs from Health MOT. In this very short video, I'm going to show you how to make a very quick evening meal. And this is a meal I'm going to have for tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got a very busy day, and when we come back, we come back pretty late from work. We want to eat straight away, so the ideal piece of equipment for that is the slow cooker. So what we can do is tonight I'm just going to fry off the ingredients because I always find that the, the flavour and uh, just the, the texture, everything about the food is, is much better if you fry off the veg and, and the meat in the, you know, prior to putting it in the slow cooker. So I'm going to do that right now. It's going to take about five, six, seven minutes I think. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, leave that in the slow cooker through the night and in the morning my wife's going to switch on the slow cooker and put it on low heat for the duration of the day as we get back in the evening the meal will be fully prepared. So I hope you enjoy the video and tell me how you make your meals very quick and we'll start a discussion about healthy food in very short time frames. Hi there, it's Matthew Gibbs from Health Number T. In this very short video I'm going to show you a couple of my quick tricks for making a very quick meal and a healthy meal and something that you can have ready and prepared for you the next day when you come back from work. So um, what I mean by that is now it's, it's 10 o'clock in the evening, tomorrow we're going to busy day ahead of us and when we get back we'll be tired and we just won't have much time for cooking or won't want to cook really. So what we're going to do is you're going to use the slow cooker, great piece of equipment. What you need to do is just get your food out, chuck it in there and turn it on. What I like to do is just add a little extra step in there just to make the food, the, the, the flavour and the texture of the food just a little bit better. That's just from practice and uh, know-how. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, medicine, got wild medicine, got a couple of sausages. We had those in the freezer, took them out uh, a couple of hours ago out of defrost. So they're ready now. So we took them out when we came back from work, knowing that tomorrow we want to have this, this meal prepared. We've got the slow cooker out and we've got a few lentils, we've got a tin of chopped tomatoes, uh, garlic, onion, a bit of uh, butternut squash left over um, in the fridge that we've used in the middle of the day, and some celery. And we've also got we've got some chopped veg. We get this from Preston Market, it's usually sold as it is, chopped up already, and we put those bags of chopped veg in the freezer and bring them out to make soup or like this, make some kind of casserole or something. We've got a frying pan, we've got um, a pan, we're going to do the veg in here, we're going to do the meat in here, and we're just going to fry them over for sort of like five minutes or so, just brown the meat, get the, the veg just softened up, we're going to stick it in the, uh, the slow cooker, and all of that's going to take about five minutes, let's say, so we'll turn on the timer, and we'll then leave it through the night, and in the morning, I'll start off to work early in the morning, my wife will stay here, take our son, it's half term now, so she'll take him to uh, the activity club that on for the day. Just before she sets off, she'll switch on the, uh, the slow cooker onto low heat, then she'll come to work, as we come back in the evening, the food will already be ready for us, and all we need to do is just switch on and decide then whether we want to actually uh, make some veg, like some red cabbage or something to go with it, or whether we just eat it as it is. But if we eat it as it is, then taken me five minutes in the evening and the day before to make it. So I'll carry on. So I'll turn on the oven on the hob. So we just brown the, the, the meat and the sausages in the frying pan. And in this pan we're just going to uh, fry the onion, the garlic, the celery and the, the veg. So we'll just chop that now. And I just realised this shirt, I've only had it on today for the first time, so I'd like to use it again tomorrow. So, cooking with tomatoes and frying on the frying pan, dangerous the white shirt. So, I just put on this nice little pinny. And if you're in the kitchen and you're cooking, then throw on the pinny. If it's going to save your shirt, I could have got changed, but I can't be bothered, so just stick on a pinny and we can start getting this garlic ready. The butter's 
starting to melt. In fact, if I didn't turn the timer, so I'll turn on the timer. Turn on the timer now, and we'll see how long it's going to take us. So we'll just, this is one of the most time consuming bits of the whole process of actually getting the garlic ready.
you know, it'll be fine. You don't have to measure, weigh things out all the time. It might be perfect. All you need for a casserole like this is some meat, some veg, um, tip of tomatoes, put that in. I'll put that in cold on top of the uh, food and put it in the slow cooker. And we've got a little bit of um, chicken stock. So, 5 minutes 20, and I'm going to say, let's turn off the oven. So I don't need to fry the, the veg absolutely thoroughly. Got the slow cooker here, got the meat, so we're just put the meat in. And the veg as well, I'm just going to put that on top of the meat. Nice to, to see you in this video and look forward to seeing you.